I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Today we have got a very interesting and very important uh, topic. Uh, this 30 years old female patient presented to me with complaints of floaters and gradual decrease of vision in the left eye for the last few years. Now at the moment her vision was 660 in the left eye and 660 in the right eye and intraocular pressure was normal in both eyes. And the slit lamp examination of the left eye you can see that I found small white uh, stellate shaped uh, keratic precipitates diffusely scattered over endothelium. Anterior chamber was quite, um, you can see these uh, stellate uh, capes. Pupil was round, reactive, and regular. There were no coipe and busaka iris nodules there was posterior subcapsular cataract that was the cause of gradual decrease of vision fundus was normal right eye was totally normal clear lens cornea fundus so it was a clear cut case of Fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis there was mild atrophic changes of the iris stroma of the left eye with loss of uh, iris crypts, but no heterochromia was appreciable. And if you do gonioscopy in such patients, uh, you may find fine fragile vessels in the angle of anterior chamber that may bleed after anterior chamber manipulation, anterior chamber parasynthesis, surgery, trauma, gonioscopy or even applanation tonometry. Heterochromia is difficult to find in our uh, people who have got dark brown iris. So main diagnostic features in our locality are diffuse, stellate shaped capes, unilateral cataract in a young patient and sometimes with raised intraocular pressure as well. Diagnosis is mainly clinical. It is also associated with viruses like herpes, cytomegalovirus and rubella virus. And also rule out uh, TB and cephalus in such cases. Um, now iris uh, in this disease shows decreased number of stromal melanocytes with patchy pigmentation of the posterior layer. And ciliary body shows a stromal fibrosis with muscular atrophy. Fuchs is also associated with ocular trauma, Horner syndrome, retinitis pigmentosa and Perry romberg syndrome with hemifacial atrophy. Now, differential diagnoses are Posner Schwarzman syndrome, but it has got very high intraocular pressure, herpe, herpetic uh, keratoeuitis, uh, you can find patchy iris atrophy, phacolytic glaucoma, you can have more anterior chamber cell flare and a very mature cataract. Treatment as there is minimal inflammation and that is also asymptomatic so medical treatment for uitis is seldom required usually we deal complications of fuchs like glaucoma and cataract most commonly cataract glaucoma is medically well controlled but if not controlled medically you can go for trav with mitomycin c regarding cataract surgery intraocular inflammation should be Controlled prior to cataract surgery, but you don't need to control pre-op inflammation as aggressive as in the routine uveitis. You can give topical steroids one week before surgery. And then you can proceed with FACO with hydrophobic foldable eye well implantation. At the completion of surgery, you can give steroids, antibiotic and cycloplegic injection to control post-op inflammation and you can also give anti-glaucoma drugs for a few days. 
now here you can see i have performed phaco with foldable hydrophobic eye well in this patient uh, cme can also occur post op uh, and as i finished the surgery i observed amsler sign very narrow streak of blood started to pour from two points from anterior chamber angle i tried to capture it from microscope but unfortunately it couldn't be appreciated so that was all about one of the common uatic condition that we encounter practically in our hospitals and clinics fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis thank you